In this problem, we're trying to match which graph has certain properties. Uh, most of these properties are limit properties. Let's look at the one property that's not a limit property. So here's all the properties. The one that's not a limit property is the one on the bottom. So what we need to do for the third one is just take two and F it. So if I plug in F of two, what is it? So we'll go ahead and do that to each graph here. Uh, this first graph in the right, that point right there is uh, the value at when x equals 2. So in this one, f of 2 is equal to the y value of negative 1. All right, next graph. This one, f of 2, is also negative 1. All right, next graph, f of 2, if you look, when x is 2 on this graph, there is no y value. So that means f of 2 is undefined. which means it's not negative one, so that graph is out. Uh, last one, if you look, when x is two, there is no point on this graph either, so that means f of two is undefined. All right, undefined, okay. So now that narrows it down. If you're trying to do this quickly, um, I would only look at the first two graphs, but what I wanna do is look at this property for all four graphs. So this is limit x approaches to positive infinity, and what does it equal? All right, what in the world is this positive infinity? So it's a limit where x is going all the way to the right. So with this first graph here, all the way to the right, just think about these x values after five is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, uh, and it keeps going and going and going. Now this graph, it's a little hard to tell, just from this shape, it keeps going to the right. Now. This graph could be approaching negative one. There could be a horizontal asymptote here. So this one could be negative one. It's a little hard to tell if it's going to approach negative one or if it maybe it keeps going up and up and up. That's why I wrote maybe right there. All right, next one, this graph here, we're thinking about X values that keep going to the right. And it looks like this has kind of a similar shape as the last graph does. It could be approaching this uh, y value of negative one. It could be approaching that. And this is, of course, x approaches positive infinity. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, it looks like both of these graphs here on the screen, if it kept going, it would look really similar, probably also approaching negative one. I'm gonna just put a question mark because we're not sure. It does look like it though. All right, last property right here. What happens when X approaches two? Lim X approaching two. All right, so we're looking when x is approaching two now, and we have to check both on the left and the right. Now, if you look on the left, this one's a little funky because it's going way, way, way up there. To the right, when x is getting closer to the value two, the curve is going way, way down. So these do not match. So this would be undefined. If we did one-sided limits, uh, if I write the one-sided limit for this function, lim x approaches two from the negative side, negative land, that would be this right here, because x is less than two, but approaching that way. And the y value keeps going up, 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 up. So we'd write positive infinity here. Now for the right side, x approaches two from the positive side, that's where we're looking down here, and that's approaching negative infinity. All right, and because positive and negative infinity are not the same, that's why we write undefined. All right, next graph right here, they're both, both of these curves when x is getting closer to two, so x is getting closer to two, our curves are both going downwards like this. So the one-sided limits agree 
So on the left, the left limit as x approaches 2 is negative infinity. It's also the same as the right limit. x approaches 2 from the positive side is also negative infinity. Because they agree, I can write the limb x approaches 2 without a plus or minus, meaning both sides, they agree, and they're negative infinity. All right, is that the property we're asked about? That is the property we're asked about right there. So I can definitively say that's the graph that satisfies these properties. Uh, we're just going to keep going really quickly. Uh, this graph here, one side goes up, the other side goes down, so the limit would not exist. And the last graph, they're both going downwards here when x approaches 2, so this would be the same uh, properties right here for that graph. Okay, you have lots of questions that are very similar to this with slightly different properties and slightly different graphs. Uh, you can just use process of elimination, uh, but I do recommend you look at these properties on every, uh, all of the four graphs before you just click uh, on the right answer.